Hey, welcome to the 5-Minute Music Lesson, where today we will be talking about the power chord. Power chords have been the foundation of rock and roll for the past 70 years or more, and so you've probably heard a lot of the, the music that comes with power chords. Just going to put a little overdrive on so you can recognize any of these. <laughs> Nirvana uses power chords a lot in their music. Another one you might recognize from the 1980s is this song. A little yes action, and then maybe this one for you old time rockers. So power chords are derived out of basic two finger chord. So I'm going to show you a diagram of the neck of the guitar first. So let me pull that up for you. And what we have is the, the sixth string is here. So it's kind of like you're looking at your guitar with the sixth string on the closest to your face there. And so the little dots are just the letters where you put your first finger would be the root of the chord. So if I want to play a G chord, I would go to the third fret on the top string, the sixth string, and let me show you how that goes. So the G would be on the third fret, my first finger, and then I'm just going to diagonal down one string, and it's right on the fifth string, I'm just diagonaling down, and then you can add your pinky if you want, and if you want to play all top three strings, you have the the root, which is the G, you have the fifth, which is the D, and then my pinky is on the octave on the other G. Uh, three strings sometimes is too much for rockers, so sometimes we just dumb it down to the, the root and then we just diagonal down. I use my pinky and I'm just playing the top two strings. It's just the root and the perfect fifth. <laughs> So again, the name comes for wherever you have that first finger, the root of the chord, and that can move around. I'll have a, a link to that diagram below in the description if you're interested. And again, you just put that first finger wherever you want for the name of the chord if you're trying to follow a chord chart in, in the music. Uh, and another cool thing with this is you can do basic progressions all along the sixth string. So I'm just going to do an A, which is my fifth fret. I'm going to do an F, which is my first fret. I'm just keeping the same shape. And I'm just sliding that around from my A to my F, and then up to my C, which is my eighth fret, right between the dots, and then back to the G, which is the third fret. So it's going to sound like this. some solos and lead lines over the top of that but that's the 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 main job of the rhythm guitar is to lay that rhythm lay those chords underneath and then the lead guitar would come with the lead over the top so let's go ahead and try a song called well actually before we do that there's a cool thing if you're on G for instance right underneath of it is the C and then two frets forward is the D so you have the G C D those are three of the primary chords in the key of G so if you want to play, you know, a song like All you summer lovers out there, uh, the primary chords, you can get a lot of uh, songs from that. I'm just going to close this out with the song by Smath, uh, Smash Mouth. You'll recognize it, so...
Thanks for joining me with the Power Chord lesson, the five minute music lesson. And join me again if you like this type of content. Please go ahead and subscribe because we'll be trying to pump out more videos. And as I get more feedback to see what areas you guys want to hit, uh, it's just fun to play and fun to encourage you to play. So keep it going and we will see you next time.